Hello friends, welcome to the video. Today I am going to be sizing up on one of my gauges and I will explain why I am only sizing up on just one in just a minute. I actually just want to say thank you to those of you who have been, you know, keeping up with this journey of mine and just, I don't know, tuning in and being here with me. It has been quite the journey. Um, and I didn't realize how many people were actually interested in my ear stretching journey, which makes sense because I'm sure those same people are either just starting to stretch their ears or are considering it and we're just, you know, looking for some tips and whatnot. Although I'm probably not the best person to get tips from, especially after I explain to you <laughs> what happened within these past two weeks. So pretty much the last time I sized up, I went from a four to a two and i believe that was the last time like i did a, a ear stretching update i was at a two for a while and i stuck at a two for a little bit um i think up until december of last year i was like okay maybe i can try to bump to a zero and i had attempted and it did not work so i was like all right don't push it i'm just gonna wait a little bit so that's exactly what i did i waited about up until like two weeks ago so i tried again and i first was like you know what let me watch some videos to see like other people's experience because going from a two to a zero is like it's pretty intense by the way sorry if the lighting kind of sucks i'm just in my window and the trees are blowing in the wind so yeah i'm on youtube and i'm watching and i'm looking at all these videos and i'm realizing that each and every one that i watch they all said the same thing you're just gonna have to go through it it's gonna suck like it's gonna hurt but you just gotta take your time with it and just get it done. So I already have it in my head that it's gonna hurt and it's not gonna be fun. Um, even though I watched other videos and they're like, if it hurts, you should not size up. So uh, I just was like, okay, fuck it, we're just gonna do it. And I made sure I was ready too. I was fresh out of the shower. My ears were nice and lubed up. They were massaged. I was like, okay, we're good to go. I went in with this ear first, I believe, and it took some time. I was there for about a half an hour until I was like, okay, nothing's happening. I was still at the same exact spot as I was when I first started. So I took a little break and then I came back to it and I tried again. So I started with this ear and I ended up staying on this ear, like just, you know, little by little, just pushing for about an hour. I was truly taking my time with it because in all these videos, they're like, take your time, take your time, take your time. So I said, I ain't got shit to do. I'm just gonna be here slowly pressing it into my ear i got it in all the way uh my ear was a little irritated but not anything horrible like it wasn't as bad as i thought it was gonna be and i knew i wasn't gonna be able to insert the tunnel right away so i kept the taper in put the little stoppings or backings whatever you want to call them um i put those on and then i moved on to the next ear and when i moved on to the next ear this ear was not budging i think i spent about a half an hour on this one until i was like okay we're no because this actually hurt way more than this ear so i said okay my ears are on different levels nothing wrong with that so i put the two gauge tunnel in and went about my night you know and then i went to bed and i think this is where i might have messed up whenever i size up i normally size up earlier in the day that way by the time i go to bed i'm my ears aren't irritated anymore and i'm okay so i don't really go to bed with any bandages on my ears and this time when i finished stretching this ear it was about like 10 o'clock at night already and i wasn't going to bed like right away but i knew okay my ear still kind of hurts i low-key should have put a bandage and i didn't the bandage wouldn't be used for like blood or anything like that it would literally just be to protect my ear from rubbing against you know my pillowcase getting caught on something and snagging so i get ready for bed my ear is okay i'm not like thinking about it at all really and you know go to bed sleeping dreaming la 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 and i wake up and i don't remember if i woke up from the feeling of it happening or if i just happened to wake up at the perfect time but i woke up and i had this Maybe I did wake up from the feeling of it. I really don't remember, but I do remember needing to like feel my ear. So I like woke up and I turned over and I like instantly just went like this and I felt wet. By the way, if you don't like blood, I would recommend skipping over this video a good 10 seconds. Yeah. Now I be sweating in my sleep. I do. And I'm like, 
is this sweat so instantly i roll over grab my phone and as i'm going to turn the flashlight on i'm like please please let this be sweat but so turn the flash on look at my fingers is blood i look at the time it's three in the morning so i jump up go to the bathroom this is what my ear looked like i got to the bathroom and i didn't actually look at my ear in the mirror yet all i seen was blood so that was enough for me to freak out so i get my ear nice and cleaned i'm frustrated because it's three in the morning and i'm doing this shit but i'm you know just trying to get everything cleaned after that i just took a warm face towel and i just did warm compresses just for as long as I could, I didn't want to stay up too, too long because I was tired. I'm going to have to size down, and obviously that's not, like, it's not what I want to do. But I know it's what I have to do. So, at that moment, um, I was too lazy to get my ear stretching kit, which comes with, like, you know, the different tapers and whatnot. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to have to put the zero back in my ear and just go to bed and just wake up first thing in the morning and do that. So, fast forward into the morning, I'm getting up, getting ready for work, and completely forgot about my gauge i go to work i'm working i get home and i'm like why is my ear so huge i'm telling you guys i wish i took a picture of how swollen my ear was but my whole lobe was just swollen so in this moment i'm already knowing okay i need to size down now so i go to take the taper out of my ear trying to be very careful and i kid you not my like the piercing hole went from this to like this when i took the taper out y'all tell me why the hole was too small for a two i'm like oh my god i can't even fit a two so i'm looking at my four gauge tunnels and i'm just like hey friends missed ya but the four gauge ended up fitting so that is where i am at with this ear this is my right ear now for my left ear since i couldn't go from a two to a zero it was just not working out um, I actually went online and I looked up a one gauge, I think it was a taper and tunnel set. So uh, it was a pack of four and it came with two tapers and two tunnels. So that is where I'm at here. This is a one gauge. I didn't even know one gauges were available. I didn't know they were an option, um, especially because a lot of ear stretching kits come strictly, you know, eight gauge, four gauge, six gauge, two gauge, or whatever the sequence is, but pretty much like they don't have the in-between sizes and if you need that in-between size which some people's ears stretch beautifully and then there's some ears that take a while and need that in-between size so i definitely needed that in-between size but that's where i'm at currently my left ear is at a one gauge and my right ear is at a four gauge but i will be attempting to size up from a four to a two today so fingers crossed it has been a few weeks and my ears or my not my ears but my ear has healed but yeah i just wanted to update you guys on that but if you guys would kindly follow me into the bathroom. Hello again, friend. I'm just taking a face towel with some warm water. I'm just doing some warm compresses on my ear. My tunnel is already out. I already cleaned it, but I am just trying to soften up the skin. You know, just get it ready for stretching. Now I'm just going to take some raw organic shea butter. I normally switch between shea butter and almond oil. Why am I so bright? But I ran out of almond oil, so shea butter it is okay the taper is nice and looped up so i'm oh, just gonna go ahead and slowly ease it and actually i'm gonna zoom in so this is where we're at currently still got some ways to go but i'm just gonna slowly tap this into my ear and honestly it's going in smoothly literally just like that yay so this is the two gauge taper and then as I said, we have a one gauge over here, which isn't that much different than a two, but we are closer to the same size, so that's good. But thank you for tuning into this video, friends. I hope you enjoyed, and if there's anything you take from this video, it is to please listen to your body. If you feel like, mm, maybe I should just wait a little bit, wait a little bit. Or if you shut your ears before bed and your ears are still irritated when you go to bed, um, wear bandages, okay? So you don't be like me. But this is where I leave you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!